Welcome back to Shadow Man Remastered. We're about to head down this path to the wasteland. Get some more poetry while we're at it, because I do like that mic poetry. Unsalvaged souls that drift beyond the marrow gates for an eternity of waiting. This infinite limbo, this wasteland, this untamed, unnatural afterbirth I command with my endless darkness. What ineffable secrets are whispered within the paths of shadow? What red edge realities rising bleak above the blasted skyline? Deadwing, duppy, zombie mother. This voodoo lord outlasts them all. All right, let's head into the untamed afterbirth, which is a really good description of, well, it's just a really good description in jet. Anyway, let's look, let's look around. Hey, up there's a door. That door has many purple spots. It has six. We're only at level one. We cannot possibly open up a level six door at this point. That's going to be for much later. But what are we doing here? Well, we did see a door that was a level two door. I'm only at level one. So really, our goal right now is to find more Dark Souls... So we can become level two, so we can go through that door. I'm starting to find yellow skulls as power-ups, and that's because I'm at level one. So I do have some, uh... I have, let's call it MP. It's fuel for uh, weapons other than my gun. Oops. But I only have my gun right now. So it's the only weapon I do have. But we will get more weapons as we go. Here's a button. I'm going to press it. Our ultimate goal is to get into the asylum and see what's in there. Well, our ultimate goal is to get all the Dark Souls, but we also want to get into the Asylum. But we can't get in there until we get enough Dark Souls to open up these doors. This door is all sideways. I mean, I think that Mike could probably fit himself through that, but he's not gonna. What we're gonna have to do is dive into some blood go for a swim. Being that Mike is Shadow Man, he doesn't have to breathe. That is something that does come up if we try to swim around as Mike. Mike does have to breathe. He can drown. Shadow Man cannot drown. There are not many times during the game where, where, where we will play as the human Mike, but when we do, we see that his abilities are... Well, they're very limited in comparison to Shadow Man. Like, the, the idea is that in the world of the dead, Mike is Shadow Man, and in the world of the living, he can be Shadow Man when the sun goes down. It's just that it's daytime right now. So if he goes back to the world of the living in live side, he's still regular old Mike Loire. Here's a switch. We're going to turn that door. So yeah, the, the world of the dead, there's an art scene with the pottery. There's also some basic technology. They have some basic machines going on here. And if we look at the asylum, it definitely looks like it's uh, a bit more higher tech than the rest of the, of dead side. Though asylum is really more industrial, like industrial revolution era tech, as we will see when we get in there. There's a Govi over there, but let's not touch the coals. Those would kill would kill us instantly. A big obstacle for Mike as he goes through the game is heat. Like fire, coals, lava. That can kill him. Well, I mean kill. He's immortal, so all that would happen is he would just respawn somewhere else. 
Which is, it's kind of a funny thing that respawning is a canon thing for Shadow Man. It's not, it's not just like a game mechanic, it's he's unkillable. So if he does die, he'll just reappear somewhere in Dead Side. Because, I mean, you think about it. If you if everyone goes to Dead Side when they die, then if Shadow Man dies, he appears in Dead Side. But in Dead Side, he is Shadow Man, the Lord of Dead Side. So, like, really nothing changes. Nothing changes for him if he dies. Sort of like a nice little feedback loop. Same thing for uh, Mike. If Mike dies in live side, then he just appears in dead side as Shadow Man, because where else was he going to go? Here's a switch. So Mike is a man who is literally has literally has no reason to be afraid of death. Death will only make him stronger. I've mentioned that there's a lot of exploration to do in this game. The first time you play through the game, it is a, v a very lengthy game just because of how long it takes to explore the whole place. I, f I think that the first time I beat the game, the in-game clock might have been at 80 hours. And then the second time I beat it, it was probably like between 10 and 15, something like that. The exploration can take a while, especially when you're in a place like the Wasteland, in which all the areas look pretty similar. It's kind of hard to tell one thing, one room, one area from another in this place. Doesn't all look like this. But some of these early areas do look pretty similar. So, for example, by exploring this room and finding this little tunnel over here, we can go up. And we end up on the other side of this room. Across the coals. Which means we can grab this. Dark souls are mine. Got a second Dark Soul. We're not at level 2 though. Because the more levels you go up, the more Dark Souls it takes to go up to those levels. So we still have to find another one. You don't actually have to get every Dark Soul in the game. You have to get enough Dark Souls to get up to level 9 to complete the game. There is a level 10. You don't have to get to it. We will, of course. We'll get up to that level 10. It's just that... No, actually, let me go back. We will get to the level 10. It's just there's like a little secret that you get if you reach level 10. Um... Okay, let's... N Just thinking about something here. If there's something I want to do right now or save it till a little bit later. Actually, yeah, let's go this way. I feel like there's better camera control in the remastered version. Like, it's been a long time since I played the original. I don't remember being able to quite re... I don't really remember being able to move the camera quite like this. Right, I wanted to get to this little tent right here. Because inside is a Dark Soul. I embrace it. All right, we're at level two. I have a level two shot on my shadow gun. Also, if we wanted to, we could go back to that level two door that we walked by. We could go back there now. 
and uh, open it up. And that would advance us in the game. Do we want to do that right now, though? Well, maybe not. I think this is where we got the that other soul, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There might be reasons to keep looking around the wasteland for right now. I thought I grabbed it. I did not. I really do like the music in this game. It's very, very moody, I think. There we go. You think Mike's jeans are immortal? Like when he when he comes into Deadside, he's wearing jeans and sneakers. Look at this guy. Look at this little guy. He's got two heads. He's crawling around on his arms and he's gonna spit at me. Spit big mucus. But yeah, but Mike, when Mike reincarnates, he reincarnates wearing jeans. Are they regular jeans? Are they immortal voodoo jeans? The mysteries of Shadow Man. You know, when I first LP'd this game, it was a subtitle LP. So I wasn't even talking on a microphone yet. Thinking about it, the way you would do a subtitle LP, pretty strange. It was more like you were playing the game and you would have to think about, is this a place where I will have something to say about the game? later when I subtitle it if so maybe I should pause just like stand here right here for a few seconds because I might want to say something it's like you have to figure out what it is you want to say while you're playing it even though you're not actually saying anything you're just trying to pace the recording so when you subtitle it you'll be able to you'll be able oh someone's still yeah someone's still spitting I don't think I'm... Am I hitting him? Not sure. Yeah, I am. I am. There we go. Got a shimmy. Sometimes a shadow man has to shimmy. But something that's very good, in the original game, you could not change the camera angle. But here? Oh, yeah. Rotate that camera all the way around. You can see the platforms behind us. Originally, I would just have to take a leap of faith that there was something behind me. But now you can see it. You can see it all. Another Govi. Our souls are mine. So, the other forces looking for the, um, the Dark Souls. It doesn't really seem like they have the capability of extracting the Dark Souls, or at the very least, not as easily as Mike. Mike can just do it with his gun. But for everyone else, removing a, a Dark Soul from a Govi seems to be next to impossible. We have an item here waiting for us. This should be useful. Someone's spitting at me. But we've picked up our first new weapon, the Asan. But it does. Shoots fire. Burns up enemies. If you burn an enemy, if the if the final shot when they die is from this weapon, you will not get health because the Asan burns them. It does not extract their soul. 
Also, this weapon, like all the other bonus weapons, uses our yellow weapon fuel meter, which we power up with skulls. But as you may notice, I am using weapons akimbo. And that means we are dramatically stronger now that we have two weapons at the same time. <coughs> Much faster. There's a path down there that we could take. It would be dangerous because there are pl those platforms will sink if we stand on them. And th those coals will kill us. But if we go down there, we would find that... It's actually a dead end. Uh, you know what? Well, you know, let's save the game. Nope. Sit. There we go. Save it. Let's see if we can make these jumps. All right, there we go. Get a kado. Yeah. We can't go down there. We need to be able to walk on the coals to head down there. Oh, is there anything in that pot over there? Nah, that's fine. I mean, there's health, but eh, we don't really need it. Oh, and this level six door, obviously we can't open it. Sounds like it hurts a lot when he fails to open a door. Doesn't sound like it's pleasant. Oh, but I don't actually I don't want to leave yet, actually. Just remembered. I said earlier that I was thinking about do I want to go someplace now or wait till later? I wanted to get the Asan before we did something. Because there's another location. Oh, you got some flying enemies. But they were not here before. Let's see. We can aim manually with our first person mode. But those guys can be hard to hit. Also, I don't think I can move. I can't move around in first person. Well, not really much of a point to trying to get them. So, there's a location that's a little bit hidden here in the wasteland. Easy to miss. You can walk by it and not even notice that you walked by it. But it's pretty important. I believe it was down here. Yeah, I think this is... This is it. Was, was, was it another one? I think, no, I actually think it was another one. Let me look around a little bit more. You might, oh, by the way, you might notice that there are no enemies here because I've killed them. If you're wondering, enemies stay dead as long as you don't leave the area. Like, go on those paths back up to uh, the previous area. If we stay here, those enemies will not be coming back. But if I leave the area, actually, I might be in the wrong room for what I'm thinking about. But if we leave this area then and come back those enemies will respawn so it's kind of a good thing to wrap up as much business as we can here before we leave to go back to that number two door it's not a huge deal but it is annoying oh i see it guys I, I just said you could run by it and not even notice it and that's what i did i ran by it and didn't even notice it okay what am i looking for do you see it? It's easy to miss that.
little bit of a Kado shrine back here. You know, just a little shrine someone set up. You kind of feel bad for robbing it, but I mean, they're collectibles. I mean, we gotta get them, right? You gotta get all the collectibles. What are you even doing if you're not getting all the collectibles? They're not that dangerous, they're just kind of annoying. <laughs> yep, we can get hurt if we walk on some campfires. Now this group, th this group is a little dangerous. Because there's a bunch of them. And they can just claw you up real fast. Great. That's the sound effect Mike says when he's low on yellow f weapon fuel. I don't know what you call the weapon fuel. You get, you're low on it, you get a skull, and he says, great, in a very sarcastic sounding manner. I don't know why he'd be sarcastic about it. We extended a line somewhere. But we don't see where that is right now. Oh, by the way, if if my hands are both full of weapons, I will not grab the edges of platforms. I do have to put weapons away to do that. Or if I only have one weapon out, I can still grab the edges. But both hands with weapons? No, no grabbing. No grabbing for me. Right, this is the line that was extended. <sighs> Leading us to another Govi. Our dark souls are mine. This takes us to the back door somewhere. Unfortunately, this discovery is not going to help us out at the moment because we don't have what we need. There's one of these fire blocks, but I can't touch that. Here's lava. Haven't seen that yet. There's a govi on the other side of it, but I can't cross that lava. Another govi right there. So we do want to remember there's a back door to this temple location right here, but we can't do anything with it right now. We'll have to come back later, which again, happens a lot in Shadow Man. I mean, really, all the stuff we got since we went up to level two, we didn't have to do it right now. We could have just left and gone to open up that level two door and come back at some point to do this later. But it's good to do as much as you can now. So the main reason I wanted to come into this area is up here. Yeah. 
So we just got a new location on our teddy bear and some dramatic music because we were at the Temple of Life. This is the front door to the temple. The Temple of Life, despite being called Temple of Life, is full of coals that will kill us. There's this strange thing, this altar. We don't know what that is, but we will find out later. Ah, there we go. First death. Mistime my jump. Unbelievable. I know. But fortunately, we just begin at our fast travel point, so it doesn't really matter that. You know, dying can be annoying if if you're not close by to the respawn point, but we were. And when we respawned, Mike said unbelievable, because like I said, the deaths and respawning in the game are canon. They are supposed to be happening according to the story, because Mike can't die. He'll just reappear. So he knows he messed up. He knows he mistimed that jump and burned to death. He's not happy with himself about it. Why am I not hitting that? There we go. We're on the other side of that window. There's that lava room there. And we can't push that block. Gotta find another way. Just to make sure there's a platform behind us. platforms over there. There's another platform right here. Right. This one leads to just a hallway of coals and a govy right there. So many tantalizing treasures out of our reach for now. Oh, I knew that was coming. I felt that the second jump was not going to do it. Damn. Sometimes you just can tell it's going to happen. Can't jump instantly after landing. You got to give yourself a second before jumping a second time. To get the full distance on it. Two platforms. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. we go here we end up in an area that 
seems to be pretty different from how it was in the original game. This whole structure here seems to be new. At least, that's how I remember it. I don't quite remember it being like this. And also, there is something new at the end of this little hallway. We push that block down. Now we can stand on it and get across this. So up here is the reason why I wanted to get the Asan before I uh, came to the Temple of Life. So this is Yort. Uh, he is new. He was not in the original game. He is a new boss. And I guess he was originally going to be in the game back, you know, back when it was new, back when it was being made. But uh, he was cut for whatever reason, and he's been restored in this remastered version of the game. I'm just going to hang out close to him because he has a big old tail attack that could knock me off the edge of the platform into the coals. So I'm just going to stay real close. Though I have used up all of my weapon fuel uh, shooting him with the Asan. I could break some pots open to get some more. Or I could just hang out here real close to him and keep shooting him. Ooh, that took a lot of health. Maybe I should get some stuff. Thank the Lord. Great. <clears throat> okay, he did knock me off. Good. Got it. Oh, yeah. There we go. He disappeared, leaving behind his disgusting hole. Yeah, that is that is a new boss. I do like how Mike kind of laughs upon seeing him. He does he does look a little goofy, and I guess that this fight would be um would really be no problem at all if you waited until you were able to walk on coals because then there would be no danger of being knocked into the coals. But we're gonna do this, but we're doing it now. It's good to do that now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, now we end up at the, the real room the final room of the Temple of Life. There's some altars around the room. What are they for? 100 Caddo given in offering to the lower shall greatly increase the strength of a man's spirit. Right. We've been picking up these Caddo. We only have 54. If we have 100, we can offer them to the Loa and increase our health. We get another notch on our health meter. There are one, two, three, four, five uh, altars. So if we can get 500 Kado, we can max out our health meter. And there's certainly more than 500. There are 666 in the game. We don't have to get all 666. But in addition, there is something else here. This should be useful. 
It's the baton. The baton is, I believe, a stronger weapon than the Asan. That is more powerful. It also uses more weapon fuel, but it also has a secondary function. We can use it with these altars to teleport around. That'll, and that would be useful. Okay, so now we've done everything we can here in the wasteland. Let's take a look at something here. Uh, there we go. We have... Well, there are plenty more Dark Souls. You can see that there are 13 in this area. A lot of them are in the Temple of Life that we were not able to get. We only have four, and we have five Dark Souls out of 120. But that is the maximum. I believe that is just about everything that we can get right now. And we are at level two, which means that we can go back to... Um, we can go back to the start and head actually I guess it'll probably be faster instead of going back to the entrance of the wasteland it probably would be faster to um, go back to this the prophecy of shadow Right, here's this level two door. We're level two now. Let's open it up. I am the Lord of Dead Side. And immediately we find a level three door. Two level three doors, actually. We also find an altar. We could try using the baton. But it takes us somewhere not helpful. We are surrounded by coals. We can't leave this little island we're on. We look up, we can see a door. It's a really high level door. From what we can tell from down here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go back. That's not a place for us right now. It will be later. So we can't go through those doors, but there is one of these paths that'll take us into a new area. Uh, but now that we're done with the wasteland and now that we're going into a new area, before we're done, before we do that, let's go see what our allies have to say about our progress. We're doing okay now. We're getting those Dark Souls. We're getting the ancient voodoo weapons. We conquered the Temple of Life. What does Nettie have to say? My shadow powers increase, Nettie. As they do, I feel as if a great darkness is threatening to swallow me up. You ain't felt nothing yet, Shadowman. You ain't been inside the asylum. It's your fate to go inside the rotten heart of Dead Side and then pass beyond it to the Five. So the five serial killers Deacon mentioned in his report are from Dead Side? Mm-mm. The five are mortal men under the influence of a greater evil. They are the heralds for the apocalypse, opening the way for the armies of the damned. The power of the dark souls unleashed upon the earth. So, I guess it's next stop, Asylum. Damn right. Get yourself in there and find out how to stop the five from opening the way. And keep taking them dark souls. So Nettie did mention the five serial killers. Those are in the report that we got at the beginning of the game. But like I said, we will read that report as we get to each of the killers, because it's kind of a lot of information at the moment. Uh, let's talk to Jaunty. Doing, Michael. I've been putting two and two together. Ah, so you're a mathematical genius now. And what this all adds up to is... A whole heap of stinking cow show you. Will you please let me finish? Sorry, you were saying? 
The Black Tower plowing its way through Deadside is called the Asylum. Something, I'm not sure exactly what, has somehow projected five of these Dark Souls across the Vale to Liveside. These Dark Souls now empower the twisted minds of five serial killers. It seems that these five are the heralds of Apocalypse, preparing the way for that immortal Dark Soul army Nettie spoke of. But I guess you already know all of this. All I know is you're in a whole heap of stinking cowshoid. I also know that you need to find a way into the asylum, because if you can do that, then you may be able to find out how this terrible something projected the five across the veil. And if you can do that small thing, then you may be able to put a stop to his decidedly dastardly plan. Oh, is that all? What? When you thought being a super powerful undead voodoo god and lord at that side was going to be easy? I didn't really have any choice in the matter, if you recall. Whatever. If you're looking for a way into the asylum, you might try exploring the paths of shadow. The filthy place is torn up so much at dead side it's bound to have an outlet somewhere. You know, that sounds like surprisingly good advice. Always glad to be of service to a voodoo demigod. Now piss away. The Paths of Shadow. Oh, and Michael? What is it? When you do finally get into the asylum, make sure you tell Jeffrey Dahmer I said how you. You might notice that our allies are not actually giving us any real advice. Like, we can go back and talk to them every so often, but the advice basically amounts to keep exploring. Go around and look in places. Asylum? Go in there. Get Dark Soul. Yeah, they don't really tell you anything of all that use. Um, but, you know, it's just there for flavor. Go back to them every so often and see what they think about things. You're not, you're not actually getting any real help from them, though. But uh, what, we, what we can do is uh, keep exploring the Paths of Shadow, as Jaunty said. But we already knew that. We are at level two. We did find a path to go down. And so, as we continue on with Shadow Man, we'll go down that new path, get some more Dark Souls, and open up a level three. That's kind of the, pro the, the progress here. Get enough Dark Souls to go up to the next level. Then open up the next door. You can't. You see how it's going. That's how. I mean, sometimes we'll encounter some new content, like that boss. That was new. Will we encounter anything new next time? We will find out as we continue on with Shadow Man. <laughs>